In this video, we are talking about limit-based continuity homework examples, like more examples on the limit-based continuity. When we see the word continuous, we know there are three definitions or three conditions, right? like three part of the definition of continuity. These are the three conditions. f of x has to be defined. Whatever x value they are talking about, to figure it out if the function is continuous or not, that x value should have a y value, like a real value there. So it has to be defined, it has to be closed circle like a graph, not a hole or a jump a discontinuity or anything. Limit x approaches a f of x exist. In order for us to know limit x approaches a of f of x exist, we need to figure it out limit from the right and limit from the left. If they have the same y value, then limit exist. Third condition is that f of x and the limit has to have a same y value. So in the question that we have number one, x equal negative five. So I have to figure it out if f of negative five uh, is defined. So if we check, this is negative five right here in the on the graph. And I have a hole here, which means that's not a real value. There is no value at all. But we also have a whole circle, closed circle, and that is seven. So at negative five, this is not a y value, there is none, but there is one right there. So I can say f of negative 5 is defined, defined because it's a closed circle and it's there, the y value is there for negative 5. So it's defined and its value is 7. Number 2. Condition number two said limit exists or not exist. So we have to figure it out that one. So if I'm talking about negative five for the limit, we have to pick the graph. You can't just pick the dot, the point. You have to do the graph. So limit x approaches negative five from the right is arbitrarily close of one. Limit x approaches negative five from the left is also arbitrarily close to one. So we can say limit x approaches negative 5 from the right side of f of x is equal 1. We round it up. It's 1. It should be 0 0.9999. So it's rounded up to 1. And we also can say limit x approaches negative 5 from the left of f of x is also equal 1, which means the limit exists. So we can say limit x approaches negative 5 of f of x exists. Now, now we're going to say the third condition. My third condition said f of x like this f of negative 5 is supposed to be equal limit x approaches negative 5 from the left and right both. So, but we can tell the f of negative 5 is 7 and limit x approaches negative 5 is equal 1 from the left and right both, which means they are not equal. So if they are not equal, then we can say, and they also said um, in the part definition continue. Okay, so we have to give them a reason. Therefore, f of x is not continuous. at x equal negative 5. And done. So that's the first part of the question. Let's try question number 2, x equal 1. Now, according to that x equal 1 part, we're going to check and find out the first condition if f of 1 is defined. So we're going to check 1, which is right here. And f of 1 is defined, which is 1 again y value because it's a closed circle. We also have a hole, but hole doesn't mean it has a y value. So I'm going to say f of 1 is defined and f of 1 is equal 7. Uh, sorry, f of 1 is equal 1. The y value is also 1. Second condition limit x approaches 1 from the left of f of x. So this is 1 and the left graph is right here. So I'm approaching from the left 
arbitrarily close, it's going to be negative 2. Limit x approaches 1 from the right side. So this is 1. Right side graph is right there and it's approaching 1. So x approaches 1 of f of x is equal 1. Now, is the limit exist? No, because left and right limit y values, limit means y values we are looking for, right? So the y values are different. So we're going to say limit x approaches 1 from left or right of f of x does not exist. Now, what is the third condition? Third condition said that f of 1 is supposed to be equal uh, limit x approaches 1 of f of x, which means they are not equal because limit does not exist. Therefore, these three dots means therefore f of x is not continuous at x equal 1. Question number 3. Now, question number three is x equal negative two. So the first condition we're going to find if f of negative two is defined. So where is negative two? Negative two is right here. So I don't have any graph up there on the top or any point like a dot like this one. We don't have anything there. But at the bottom, we do. So this is a closed circle. It's a dot, which means negative two, f of negative two is equal negative five. So we're going to say f of negative two is defined. And f of negative 2 is equal negative 5. Second condition, limit x approaches negative 2 from the right side of f of x. So this is negative 2 and the right side graph is right here. So this is the graph that approaching negative 2, which means the y value is negative 5. Then I have limit x approaches negative 2 from the left of f of x, which is also negative 5, because, I mean, that this, I'm sorry, that was left and this is right. Both of them, left and right, both negative 5. Then it means the limit exists. Limit x approaches negative 5 of f of x exists. Now, third condition said f of negative 2 is equal limit x approaches negative 2 left and right of f of x, everything is equal negative 5. Therefore, f of x is continuous at x equal negative 2. Now, I'm repeating this over and over for all these three questions and this is how you guys are supposed to do on the AP test. Question number four. Let's do question number four. Use three part definition of continuity to graphically justify why p of x is discontinuous at x equal zero and x equal two. So we are going to do x equal zero and x equal two three part definition. So first let's do the x equal zero. The first condition is p of zero has to be defined. So we can see p of zero is undefined undefined we don't have a y value for it in anywhere top and bottom you can check at zero nothing it's just a hole second condition uh, limit x approaches zero from the right of p of x is equal that's zero right side when i go right side i go arbitrarily close and we round it up at negative one limit x approaches 0 from the left of p of x is equal. When I go from the left of p of x, it's negative 1 again. Then it means limit x approaches 0 of p of x exists. Third condition, p of 0 is supposed to be equal limit x approaches 0 of p of x. In this case, since the p of 0 is undefined and it means it's not equal. So therefore, you can say p of x is not continuous at x equal 0 then. 
For the second one, we're going to talk about, again, the same condition, P of 2. So let's see 2. That's a 2. The P of 2, this is a whole, so this is undefined, but you know you have a right there, a closed circle, so which means it's a defined point. P of 2 is defined, which means P of 2 is equal negative 1. Then we're going to say limit x approaches 2 from the right. That's a 2. Right side is right there. The graph is on the right is this one. When I approach x equal 2, it's going to go arbitrarily close because it's a hole and there is no y value. And when I round it up, it's going to end up 2. Then we have limit x approaches 2 from the left of p of x. So this is the left and we go p of x. Again, the y value is negative 1. So it means the p of 2 is defined, like we have a y value there, but limit doesn't exist. So we're going to say limit x approaches 2, p of x does not exist. Third condition, p of 2 is not equal, limit x approaches 2 of p of x. Therefore, p of x is not continuous and you guys have to do uh, reasoning and all these things step by step over and over however how many times you need it you're going to write it down on an AP test. p of x is not continuous at x equal 2. So that was question number four. Question number five. For what values of k and m is the function g of x everywhere continuous? Every time just remember when you are looking for some variables, then variables are always, always going to be, you're going to make them equal each other, the equations. So in this case, if we check, we have uh, 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 equations kx squared plus m, which is x less than negative 1, and eln 2x plus 3, which is x greater or equal negative 1. So since these are negative 1s and negative 1s, I'm going to pick these two equations and I'm going to find, um, uh, since they're asking uh, continuity, then I have to find and uh, use limits to set up your work. So I'm going to use limits left and right to set up my work first. So we're going to do limit x approaches negative 1 of g of x, a negative 1 from the left of g of x is supposed to be equal limit x approaches negative 1 from the right of g of x. So for the limit x approaches negative 1 from the left, left is this portion. So I'm going to write that kx squared plus m. This negative 1 from the left is this. Negative 1 from the right is that function e ln 2x plus 3. We make them equal each other which we did. Now we're going to plug in negative 1 for everywhere we see x. So that's negative 1 squared plus m e ln 2 negative 1 plus 3 close. So this is going to give me k plus m equal and this is since we already know the e ln they cancel out each other because it turns 1 then we left with negative 2 plus 3, uh, which is plus 1. Negative 2 plus 3 gave me 1. So this is what I got. This is my one equation that I got so far. Now I have to get my another equation. And this is one thing. Now we have to make sure that we make the 3 and the 3 equal each other. Like I have E ln 2x plus 3 less than x less than equal 3 and this is x greater than 3. So we are going to use both of these. So I'm going to go again limit x approaches 3 from the left of g of x supposed to be equal limit x approaches 3 from the right of g of x. G of x from the left is this function, which is e ln 2x plus 3. And 3 from the right is kx minus m. Plug in 3 everywhere you see the 
uh, E ln cancel out. So I got 2 times 3 plus 3 equal 3K minus M. 6 plus 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 equal 3K minus M. So this is my another equation. So I got two equations. Now we can use system of equation to figure it out uh, one of the variable. So the system of equation means if I can change that, the system of equation means I have to make sure that I write them um, on top of each other. Like I have k plus m equal 1, and I have 9, and I have 3k minus m. Just move the 9 to the other side. These are my equations, and we're going to add them. 9, 1 is 10. m and m cancel out, and I got 4k. So divide four both sides, I got k equal 5 over 2. So I already got k. You can plug this k anywhere, either in this equation or either this equation, you will get m. If I plug this in, in that equation, I'm going to go up there, k plus m equal 1. I'm using that one because it's just a small equation. So 5 over 2 plus m equal 1. Subtract. 5 over 2 both sides so we get m equal 1 minus 5 over 2 least common denominator is 2 we multiply 2 times 1 is 2 you cross multiply 2 and 5 I got negative 3 over 2 is equal m this is how we figure it out the answers if the question was not asking use limits to set up your work, then I will not I will not use this portion. I will just make them equal each other, make them the negative one equal each other, make them like the first and second, which has negative one, negative one common, and I'll make sure I set up the other two, uh, this one x less than three and equal three and x greater than three. These two equal each other, and I will find I will do the rest of the stuff exactly the same. I will just skip the limit if they were not asking to set up the limits. Question number six, okay. In this question, they said, find the value of A. Again, I'm missing a variable. Everywhere continues, write the two limits that must be equal in order for the function to be continuous. They, again, they want me to use my limit setup. So I'm gonna do limit, and there is only two uh, pieces of the function f of x. So a limit x approaches negative one, from the left of f of x equal limit x approaches negative 1 from the right of f of x. So left use, we use this function, which is 4 minus x squared. For the right, we're going to use that one, which is a x squared minus 1. I'm going to plug in negative 1 for x equal a negative 1 minus 1. This is going to give me... 4 subtract 1 is 3. This is negative a minus 1. We add 1 both sides. This is going to give me, they cancel out and I'm going to give me 4 equal negative a. So negative is not acceptable with this uh, uh, variable. So we're going to multiply by negative both sides and I got a equal negative 4. And that's exactly what they were asking me to find out. Actually, it is not. I made a mistake somewhere because this was square. So it's it's a is never uh, negative, which means a is negative or negative. Then my answer is a equal four. I'm sorry about that. Number seven. Let's do number seven. Again, the same thing. I have to set up as a limit. And remember, if that they were not asking me set up as a two limits. I'm not doing it. I'm just going to straightforward make the equation equal to each other. x approaches 2 from the left of f of x is equal limit. x approaches 2 from the right of f of x. So from the left, I'm using this portion, which is x squared plus x plus a equal. From the right side, I'm using that one, a x cubed minus x squared. Plug in 2 everywhere. 2 squared plus 2 plus a, a 2 cubed minus 2 squared. It's going to give me 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6 plus a. 2 times 2 and uh, 4, 4, 2 is 8. So 8a eight minus uh, 4. 
So combine like terms, add, uh, subtract 8a, subtract 8a, we cancel out. I'm left with 6 minus 7a because this is invisible 1 equal negative 4. Now add or maybe subtract 4 both sides, subtract 6 both sides, we cancel out. I'm left with negative 7a equal negative 10. You divide by negative 7 both sides and I got a equal 10 over positive 7 because negative negative cancel out. So again exactly the same thing I've been doing for finding variables. Exactly the same thing like we did the question number 5 but make sure you understand if they want me to use a limit setup then I have to show them this, this portion. Only and only this portion I show them uh, if they said uh, use a limit setup and exactly in this question they want you limit setup if the limit setup was not there I will make them equal to each other and we are done if you guys have any questions please comment below I will try my best to answer it